All right, all right. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Once again, it is your brew. That is me, Bon Shemayim, back with another one. I want to start this off by saying, Kaul Ahaya by Shimei Shai, which is all praises to the Most High in the name of His Son. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this. This video today is going to be about the races. I'm calling them out. So it's crazy because a lot of the, the Hebrews in camps, a lot of the brews in camps or Israelites in camps, right? If anybody who don't know, this is a quick history lesson on it. Hebrews and Israelites are of the 12 tribes of God on this side of the world. That would mean the so-called blacks, the so-called uh, uh, Hispanics and the so-called Latinos, right? And the so-called natives on this side of the world would fit into these groups. I'm not going to do a detailed breakdown of, of who each is. But Hebrew is a bloodline. It's not a religion. So if you're born of one of those people I named, you're a brew or Israelite. Simple as that. <laughs> no way around it. Right? So the camps, though, some of the camps or some of the people who listen to the camps called me an Eda, Isu loving white boy. Uh, Isu loving Judite. Excuse me. Isu is the white man. Isu loving Judite because i don't hate edomites i don't hate no people no matter what race creed or color i love my own people more than i love any people and i'm talking about my own meaning the 12 more than i love any people but i don't hate no people to get that started now first we want to go to this facebook post let's get into this racist stuff right here let's get into this right uh we're not going there we're going to facebook post right this is the post. This is the guy. He painted this. Sapita Brunson. Sapita Brunson. This is him. That's a picture of him. Support him. He's an artist slash painter, right? So support this brother. This is a picture I believe is of his wife and his child. I'm going to show you why I believe that. Uh, first, matter of fact, let's do this real quick. This should show you right here. I went to his page. He, he drew the <laughs> he drew he drew the fade in the water <laughs> he drew the fade in the water oh I love it hey that's a that's a beautiful picture right here but just I wanted to come and kind of show the pictures and how he set this up uh how he does his thing his pictures that he takes and uh paints and and such different things right so first off you know this is scary to them first off so anyway let's get back to this i believe this is his wife and his daughter and this post has been getting a lot of racist remarks a lot of them right so before i even go to them i saved some where did i save them at right here it's in my gmail account let's get it we're gonna start off right here because i saved these posts and i saved some profiles because we need some heckling you guys we need y'all to go heckle bring out the heckle <laughs> all right let's show it this the post okay this is the dude oh my goodness can't believe that happened okay this is the dude this is what he said why is that happening Sorry about this, y'all. All right. This is what he said. Why aren't they twerking outside of the gas station or Walmart? Very unrealistic depiction of a melanoid. Right? So this is dog a partian. Right? This is his name. Because, look, I need y'all to go get on this brother head. Matter of fact, let's go back out and go to his profile. He, he won't even put his profile pick up. I tried to, uh, or doge a partian. Or apparition. Dang, why did I butcher that? I was so frustrated with the dude. Doge apparition. Skeleton youth never die. So this guy right here, this is his page. Go heckle him. Make him regret even having a page on Facebook. Maybe him start a new page and recruit all his family. I'm normally not big on that, but look, this is what we doing. And this is facts that I'm not a Isu loving Jake. I love Isu, so I guess I am an Isu loving Jake. I love everybody. But when they're wrong, I get on everybody's head as well. Now, let's go deeper into this. Because this is what he, he also posted these things. 
right? And this is this is why we all need to get on them. This, as you see, this was the first picture. So this is what they think of us. You understand? This is how they think of us. It's Satan deep down in people making them think evil of us. This is how they picture us. This is what dog, doge apparition, doge apparition. We go into it again. Doge apparition, D-O-G-E-A-P-P-A-R-I-T-I-O-N, right? The one, same one who said, why aren't they twerking outside of gas station or Walmart? Very unrealistic depiction of a melanoid, right? Which so it's so funny to say that because like most of the world has melanin. Just you guys lack it. So let's get into the next picture that they posted. This is in 2023. Yesterday at 2.28 p.m. This is in 2023, y'all. So I don't want to hear that ain't no such thing as racism. We overblow what we think. We're not experiencing what we say we're experiencing. No, we experience this every day. So this is the picture that he put up. This is what they think of us. Watermelon eating black dude running from a tore down neighborhood that he did. Right? Check this one out. So this is their version. They're pretty much saying our art is better than the guy's art because this is how we you should be depicted. Right? And this is made by Connor Peresco. So whoever this Connor Peresco guy is. Get on his head too. Connor Peresco, he the one who made this stuff. Get on his head. So this is how we're depicted. You understand? This is exactly how we're depicted. This was the picture that the brother put up depicting us. So they were mad about that and started depicting us at other pictures. We're not done. Remember, this guy's name is Doge Apparition. Get on Doge. Now, next. Is this it? Okay, Justin Stoltz. It's another brother. Get on Justin Stoltz. I see a weapon. Call the cops. I think she pointed it at me. Look. Look like she is the one that got mad at the drive-thru for not giving her enough barbecue sauce. First off, this dude, no. He don't have no barbecue sauce, right? I mean, he, he know he don't work at the drive-thru, first off. And then this other guy, because we I'm about to show y'all both of their profiles. Chris Smith, right? Chris Smith is another guy. It says, Takisi Castle, only accurate part of the picture, missing father figure. Get on ta get on Chris Smith with the K. K-R-I-S. Let's get on it. K-R-I-S Smith. Go to his Facebook page, y'all. If I got a community, we're gonna support each other. Let's make their lives hell. It ain't going to take much to send these guys one message of peace on their Facebook. Right? To link their name and post on Facebook. Right? Okay. Justin Stoltz. J-U-S-T-I-N-S-T-O-L-T-Z. Right? Chris Smith. K-R-I-S-S-M-I-T-H. Only accurate part of the picture is the missing father. So then this is the girl who's in the picture. This is the guy's wife, right? The guy who's painting it. He says, Chris Smith, this is me. I am her, the mother. And in this case, the father is heavenly present and he is armed as well. Not every black father is absent. Right? So then Jesse Lee says, you're right. One out of 10 is present. So get on Jesse Lee too. Let's get on all of them. Because let me tell you, I knew plenty of white people who grew up with uh, single uh, parents, right? They didn't grow up with, with their parents. Now, this is Chris Smith's page. You could already tell looking at this dude. He's from Dothan, Alabama. Never heard of it, but it's probably one of those places I drove by and when it was dark and did not want to stop. Dothan, Alabama, y'all. He lives in Pendleton, Oregon. Do your research. Make this video go viral. Make these guys eat what they see it, right? Because this is the power we got actually have. This is a close-up of this guy. He looked like he like barely made it out of the trailer park. Straight up, he believes he's a Viking. 
and he got the nerve to diss us and diss our people and diss everything. What about his life? I would like to know what's going on in Chris Smith's life. Because what did Chris Smith say? Only accurate part about the pitching mi pitcher missing father. Now, did we not? Let's do this real quick. Did we not go to this brother's page? He said that's the only accurate part. This is funny. This is hilarious to fade in the water, y'all. Go sort, go support Sapita Brunston, right? But isn't this another picture? Wait, let's get to some of the real pictures. That's a picture of his wife and his daughter. That's a real picture. That's a real gun. That's a real person. So how is this not an accurate depiction? That's a real person. That's a real gun. How is this not an accurate depiction? Real people. <laughs> Real guns again. So this is what I'm saying. Now, this is fake. You can say this is not an accurate depiction. i never seen a panda with a gun. Right? i never seen a panda with a gun. You can say that. Look, at these are real women with real guns. So for this guy to say it's not an accurate depiction, Right? And then this guy, I see a weapon, call the cops. I think she pointed at me. Look like she's the one that, okay, Justin Schultz and Chris Smith. The Chris Smith says only accurate part is of the picture is a missing father figure, right? Okay, Chris, get on Chris' head, y'all. Justin Schultz said, I see a weapon, call the cops. I think she pointed it at me. Look like she's the one that got mad at the drive through for not giving her enough barbecue sauce get on his head y'all get on his head he gonna call the cops give him a reason to no threats no death threats nothing like that i'm saying it right now don't do that just blow the dude up with and let him know about himself let him know all this stuff y'all do to the edomites and this for all i'm calling all camps all non-camps all regular people all the white people on my friends list who always act sometimes act as if we're not experiencing these things i want all of y'all to flood this man's make this video viral viral flood these people facebooks and make them shut them down make them shut them down now now one last time we got to go over oh oh it's one more it's one more i almost forgot we can't forget this one Sheila Von Schriptup. Shelly, I said Sheila. <laughs> Shelly Von Schriptup. Right? She said to Mark Jones. Because Mark Jones went in dog oppression over those pictures. Hold on, let's go through this again. Dog oppression. Dog oppression was the one who said this. Why aren't they twerking outside of a gas station or Walmart? Very unrealistic depiction of a melanoid. Doge apparition. I keep saying his name wrong. Doge apparition. Get on him. Right? And then Mark Jones said, you're mad they're not eating fried chicken and watermelon too? Go kick rocks. And he gave him the, the little Satan God face, right? So this is what he did to Mark Oppression. This is what he sent to Mark Oppression afterwards. And we'll go into this once again. Or, or sent to Mark, right? Apparition is this guy's name. This is what Apparition sent to Mark. This is one of the photos. Bro, if y'all don't get on Doge Apparition. If y'all don't get on Doge Apparition. All right. This is another one. This dude need to be canceled. We got the power to cancel people on social media. This is what these trolls like to do with their time on social media. This guy needs to be canceled. All right. So let's get back to this. Now, she was re defending this guy, Doge Apparition, Shelly Von Stoop. Shelly Von Stoop. Stoop. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, it says, if only they stuck to hot dog swallowing. All right. Because he also put a picture up of these two girls. I hate when, when our people do this. Two black women sucking on the hot dog together. There's like one hot dog. is one black woman on the end of the hot dog. There's another black woman on the end of the other hot dog. And they're both sucking the hot dog without kissing. Weirdest stuff ever. I hate that our people be on it. 
on this thing doing that. If I find a video, I'm gonna post it because that needs to stop, right? So if only they stuck to hot dog swallowing, these baby machines are getting themselves knocked up every nine months. Their vaginas are way more dangerous to society than semi-automatic weapons. So this is this I brought this out because this is what you you guys gotta know this. Y'all keep thinking that we make up racism. The bruise attack the wrong people. If you want to get on somebody's head about being a white devil, look, Shelly Von Stoop. Shelly Von Stoop. Get on her head about being a white devil, right? Because that's what she is. Now, now look what she said to Ida Hill. Ida Hill, we're still 68% of the population. So, duh, of course we would give birth to more children. You still raise more felons, though. Good job. Bad at math. Bad at parenting. Right? So, <clears throat> and then Bree Robinson said, Shelly Von Shroop, they love talking shit about us like their race is any better. So, it's funny. The white people are all on here getting on them. So, Bree Robinson, get on Bree. Right? Shelly Von Stoop, I got her. Let's get to her page. This is Shelly Von Stoop page. Shelly Von Stoop, right? So she hate black people, but she love parrots. She won't, she don't even have her face posted as her profile picture. Obviously, probably too ashamed. But I did some research, you guys. So I have a picture of her face somewhere. Matter of fact. Let's go to Facebook and look her up. <laughs> Cause we getting her. Oh, we getting her. Putting her on video. Exposing, exposing. We getting her. Where's that Facebook search at? Uh hold on, y'all. I got a picture. Let me see. I don't know why it didn't send it this one. Shoot. Okay, let me get it. There we go. I got a picture, y'all. <laughs> I'm sharing it now. Okay, let's see. Okay, so should be in my inbox. All right, man, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. I sent it. There she go. That's Shelly. Let's go to her name again because I kind of forgot it. Shelly Von Stoop. Shelly Von Stoop. Right? So this is Shelly Von uh, Stoop. Let's get to her. Shelly Von Stoop. She's showing her, her love for parrots. But hey, tough. This is what I'm saying, y'all. <laughs> Get on their page, make them regret posting this. Let them, let them force them to keep their little eternal stuff between them and their homies. Don't allow them to get on our brothers and our sisters' pages when they're trying to do things with their talent, beautiful things, uplifting things for our people, and allow people like Shelly. Shelly Von Stoop, you know what I'm saying, to uh, get in here and do these things. So one more time, we're going over all these guys real quick. Justin Stokes, get on his head, y'all. I'm looking forward to him complaining, y'all. I want to hear some complaints from these guys. Chris Smith, get on his head, y'all. Chris Smith, all right, uh... Shelly Von Stoop, right? The one who said, if only they stuck the hot dog swallowing, these baby machines are getting themselves knocked up every nine months. 
their vaginas are way more dangerous to society than semi-automatic weapons. So she pretty much saying the woman in the video in the picture ain't a threat. Her vagina is the threat. Get on Shelly Von Stoop, right? And last but not least, get on Doge Apparition. Or, yeah, Doge Apparition, right? Get on him. Get on him. The one who says, why aren't they twerking outside of a gas station or Walmart? Very unrealistic depiction of a melanoid. So we're melanoids to them. Like I say, they get on, because we're not black. We're not all these things they call us. And they can't call us God's name because then it would shame them or God's people's name. So they call us melanoids or black or monkeys or whatever else they could come up with. And this is what they believe about us. So he's showing all those videos of white boys getting beat up and he probably got picked on. And I don't feel bad for him neither because he probably got picked on because it's what he thinks. And if you think like this versus black people in their neighborhoods or anywhere around them, oh, they're going to get you. They're going to get you. So I'm putting this out. I'm putting this out. Get on this brother head. Get on dog oppression head. He got a picture of himself too, a little Weasley guy. I didn't, I didn't save his picture because I don't know if he was in high school or not. He looked skinny and young, so you know I didn't want to post a picture of him, and then I get in trouble for posting a picture. Like I said, this is a longer video. Uh, I will come back and do a short of this video, a little clip in a couple weeks to represent to get on these people head and i'm gonna be monitoring their facebooks and stuff to see who on their head and if you get on their head i'm gonna try to get on it too all right so with all that being said i just want to say uh the water which means thank you in phoenician hebrew uh for tuning in kaula haya by shimmy and shaya which means all praises to the most high in the name of his son and i want to say baraka thai which is peaceful greetings because we're leaving i mean baraka thai which is bless you and Shalom, which is peaceful greetings because we're on our exit. Okay, uh, I forgot to throw this in, but uh, I would appreciate it if y'all hit the like button. This is important to share this video. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Spam share. Okay, on that note, drop a comment. I'm going to get to the comments soon. I've been dealing with some personal issues, which have my mind not able to focus on the comments. So I will be getting to them soon. I thank you guys for tuning in on that note. Peace out to the next one, Brock. Stop.